usually on Christmas Eve, I get to read a Christmas story to our youngest members of the congregation. And I'm gonna miss being able to get to do that up close to you guys this year. So I wanted to um, read a couple stories for you over the next couple days that I'll have uh, posted on our YouTube channel for the week of Christmas. So I thought I'd read a couple with my Christmas tree in the background and um, you can uh, enjoy some some stories. So the first one that I wanted to read is called The Spirit of Christmas and it's by Nancy Tillman. I love this author. She's one of my favorites and I, I buy pretty much every book that she has. So um, this is what the cover looks like. It has a pretty Christmas tree on it too. It's The Spirit of Christmas. I had just nodded off at a quarter past four when the spirit of Christmas stepped in through my door. This is a nice red chair. We're getting ready to relax a little bit. With a great show of sparkles, he decked all my halls in tinsel and twinkles and bright shining balls. I was really quite fond of the trimmings he'd brought, but there's just something missing this Christmas. I thought, look at how the house is all decorated. Isn't it pretty? We're gonna work on decorating our house soon. Uh, maybe you have some lights out at your house too. Uh, one of our favorite Christmas traditions is uh, driving around with hot chocolate and looking at all the different lights all over the different neighborhoods nearby. Bells, he said, jingle bells. Bells right away, bells on a one horse galloping sleigh. You guys know that? One horse open sleigh. There we go. So they sang, maybe you need bells to make you feel better. And they have part of the song, over the fields we go, laughing all the way, ha ha ha. Um, a toy soldier band dressed in matching red sashes. Look at that marching band. You see it? Did you guys watch the parade on Thanksgiving? There were a lot of marching bands there. That's what it reminds me of. Playing some loud music. Candy cane tongues and marshmallow mustaches. Oh, look, she's got her tongues all red from the candy cane and then they're throwing a snowball. Have you guys been out playing in the snow that you've had so far or maybe built a snowman? Uh, I've gotten hit by a couple of snowmen or snowballs thrown by my daughters. So, all right. Everyone caroling songs of goodwill. <laughs> Look, it's little wolves howling. <laughs> and the song they have there is, we wish you a Merry Christmas. That's a good one too, huh? All right. So merry that even the trees can't be still. I shook my head. You are really so kind, but it's not exactly what I had in mind. So even the trees, we live with a lot of trees out by our house and this is what it reminds me of, um, this little area that we live in. He spoke to me then in a whisper of wings. There are gentle things the season brings. So maybe you don't want something loud. Maybe it's something quiet is what the spirit of Christmas is saying. So we have um, a couple images here that I thought were interesting. You've got the dove, which usually symbolizes peace or the Holy Spirit. And then you've got the lion and the lamb laying down together. And that's an image from the Bible when all the world is at peace. That's what we'll see. Um, snow that lies silent, as quiet as a mouse. Look how pretty that is. The other day we got a lot of snow out at our house and I took my dogs out right after it had snowed 
and the grass was all covered. There were no footprints in the snow yet, and it was so quiet. And I love that feeling early in the morning. And roads that all lead to your grandmother's house. Isn't that a great place? I know my girls love to visit their grandmother and Nana, and we love to go home and see our families too. So there they are, she's going home to her grandmother. Alrighty. I like that she's pulling a snowman on her sled. <laughs> 10 lords a leaping as seven swans swim. You guys know the 12 days of Christmas? Those are images from the 12 days of Christmas. And there are the seven swans swimming. All right. And of course, Santa Claus. I'm just getting to him. You guys excited for Santa Claus? I lifted my chin and stared up at the ceiling. I still wasn't getting that warm Christmas feeling. Look at Santa and his sleigh. And I got the full moon because it's dark at night and the moon's out, shining light. That's when the spirit of Christmas smiled. Remember, this all began with a child because it took nothing but love to begin it. It's not really Christmas if love isn't in it. Your tree may be large as the room will allow with a big yellow star on the uppermost bough. But of one thing I'm certain, I'm sure of one thing, it is love that makes the angels sing. And they have the music for joy to the world. We sing that right at the end of our Christmas Eve services. We sing it loud because it makes us happy and we celebrate that Christ has come. It's joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. You guys know that song? And that's when I got it. That's when I knew the thing that was missing from Christmas was you. And so then, my darling, wherever you roam, may you always be safe. May you always come home. For as long as the world still spins and still hums, wherever you are and no matter what comes, the best part of Christmas will always be you beneath my Christmas tree. And I love this, the little kid looking at the, the Christmas tree and checking things out. I think for a lot of us, maybe this Christmas is going to be a little different and that can be hard because it might not feel as Christmassy as we'd like. All of, some of our traditions might be a little different. We might not be having the big family gatherings that we used to. But if we keep in mind that love is what started it all, that God's love is what um, met us on that Christmas day, and that God's love is what we need to continue to, to love and care for each other, then that's what matters most. And as long as we are able to be together, whether that's together in the same room or together on video calls or on the phone, um, that love is going to be there. And we're still going to greet the little baby born who saves us. Um, I hope you guys have a great Christmas and um, enjoy these videos and whatever family time or activities you do to celebrate. Have a great night. Bye.